This is the battle. No! No, Pain! No, 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 no! Other way! You kind of are a blooper reel. <laughs> What's up guys? This is CP Outdoors. I'm Chris. And I'm Peyton. Did you turn it on? Alright man, where do, where do we begin? Went to the paddle boat, went to the beach over there. Started some lines off. I don't even think Peyton had a bobber on. I didn't have a bobber. I, I just had the hook and the line. The night after we decided we wanted a boat, I think we both spent how many hours? 16 hours? Taking a boater's life. Taking the boaters. I, I, I spent an all nighter. <laughs> Emptied out my bank account, all my savings. All that went. Culver's money I worked for in the summer. Yeah, so we stumbled upon this one uh, at 800. Um, we realized we didn't have enough money. So we, we brought my older brother, Will, in on it. Um, so it was a three-way split. Saw the boat, started messaging the guy. Um, about a week later, we go pick it up with Will. Uh, right after we picked it up, we went and got the cheapest trolling motor money could buy. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, man, so that first summer, uh, I mean, neither of us could drive, so we had to have our parents come pick us up and drop us off. So that really made for some long fishing days. I mean, we we were, we were had some six-hour days out there on the water. I, I don't know, we got, a, we got a ton of crazy stories. Yeah, I mean, like, countless things just going just out with our me friends, right now. fun late In all nights, facets of life. and cooking and fish. Give him a, give him a Gentile or something. I mean, I mean, part of our motivation to make this channel is we kind of want to just document most of this and like show you guys what goes on because it is honestly, it makes it makes for some great content. One that really pops to my head is one time we were out on the lake. It was a sunny day like today, and um, it just starts pouring rain. And it, it, it's, it's a downpour. It's crazy shit, bro. Maybe that's cold rain. This is some cold rain. And um, we actually had to we had to pull off to the side. We had to pull off into someone's yard. It was cold, man. And we hid under one of their trees. But I mean, there was a lot of swearing going on. Good thing the trolling motor is charged because our big motor is. I'm not gonna lie, we're not the we're not the greatest anglers. No, we're, we're not the we're not the brightest fishermen. But we're we not do, the brightest boat owners. We do catch them, and we. And the thing is that that's what's making for the great stories. I mean, we have countless memories of trying to back the boat in and we got memories of putting the boat in without the drain plug um so many times our motor hasn't worked and we've flown into the reeds i mean there's just not many cases where we've had a perfect trip up i mean part of the comedy of the boat is it's uh it's the competition we have no one no one wants to be the one with the least amount of fish i can tell you that chris chris is always trying to teach me how to fish because he thinks i don't know how <laughs> and i think the beauty of it is we both strive to push each other better and I think you know we've known each other for 18 years of guy, our life I mean I just feel like our 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 story is just too good not to be documented it's gonna be an interesting for you guys to watch and I just want to be able to take other people on the journeys and I also just like when we're older I want to be able to look back in these years because I mean it's not often you're gonna be able to go fish in 30 days out of a summer with your best friend I mean even from this video to our next video you're gonna see growth so, me and Peyton are now in college, and, but we actually, this thing was like the centerpiece of our graduation party. Like, we decorated it up with balloons, we had a keg by it, a root beer, and um, everyone wanted to come take a picture by it. This boat has just influenced us a lot, but I think a lot of people see it and just kind of gravitate toward it, almost. Because it looks so simple, but yet, through the last four years we took time and we we turned it into what we wanted it to be and it has been the greatest project i've ever worked on in my life and i still remember the feeling i, I didn't even catch the fish when chris caught his personal bites that was like that was a big paper yeah it was almost a four pounder i think yeah, it was that big was, that was huge for our boat man it's just like stuff like that you don't you don't forget oh just like there's been so many funny moments of just i mean chris every bird he sees he doesn't know it. Oh no, that's a seagull. Wait, that looks like a hawk kind of. That's a hawk. Yeah, it's a hawk. 
Oh wait, no, that is a bald eagle. He's never identified a bird correctly. That's the stuff. That's the memories that you make. Definitely, definitely is. And I, you know, we we do we joke around a lot on this boat. See you then. New big part onto the boat, and I think two videos later we'll be out on the water documenting. So, All right, boys. we'll catch you then.